are like, oh my gosh, like I've been so off track. We're gonna make it simple, we're gonna make it practical. I had like the best holiday season. I enjoyed myself thoroughly, but honestly, when you're eating those extras and all the sugar and drinking a lot more than normal, it starts to wear on you. And like, I just kind of feel that. And I'm so ready for the new year. I'm so ready to do the LSF 30 challenge with you girls and jump into the two day detox meal plan and the hot body meal plan, just because it is such a good foundation to help give your body a break, to reset and really create those healthy habits and routines going into the new year. So I'm gonna take you girls along to the grocery store, show you everything I get for the week. And then also the simple way I meal prep. The great thing about both meal plans is really like they're intended for you to make them work in your life how you want, which is so awesome because that's what healthy living should be about. It's not some crazy diet that you have to stick to like nuts. No, we're going to make it simple. We're going to make it practical and delicious. I'm going to show you guys everything I do to make that happen in a week. So many of your girls have been asking for a new updated meal prep video. So if that is you hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have two new videos for you every single week. I have committed to two for this year. It is happening. I'm super excited. You guys are going to be awesome. But now let's go hit the grocery store. Just a little sneak peek at the two day detox meal plan you'll get for free when you join the challenge. Um, so it breaks everything down for you. It gives you a grocery shopping guide, the whole meal plan, all the recipes. It is so nice. So I'm just gonna use the grocery shopping list to get everything I need. And then I know what I need for the hot body meal plan, but otherwise I would just add that to a list somewhere else too to take to the store. You would think by now I would have figured out my system to remembering my grocery bags when I go to the grocery store, but I literally remember them maybe once every five times. Not today, friends. <sighs> everything I needed. I think one encouraging thing was realizing I actually had a lot of stuff still at home so I didn't have to buy stuff which means my eating has been better than in your head. I feel like we make it way worse and we like are like oh my gosh like I've been so off track but really like when I think about it it's just been like all the added things like the drinks and the treats and all that stuff but like my baseline has been pretty good but this is going to be so nice just to like fully reset so stocked up what I needed back there. I'll show you guys everything and dig in when I get home. <laughs> you see that back sketch? <laughs> oh my gosh. I saw one more. They're literally the only handles that did not break. So I'm gonna pull everything out and show you guys everything I got. This is everything that I got at the grocery store. So I have sweet potatoes, my bone broth, apples, some hummus for snacks, oat milk, asparagus, dino kale, steamed brown rice. I just got it in the packs that you throw in the microwave because it just makes it really easy, you guys. So don't feel like you have to make everything from scratch. Even chicken breasts, like get cooked chicken breasts so that's easier. I got some grain-free tortillas, carrots, um, ground turkey, and chicken. I have... What is this? Parsley, a bunch of celery, some romaine for salads, broccoli, some mushrooms, chomps, favorite little turkey stick snacks, some avocado, my almond bitchin' sauce, which is just good on everything, and then some garlic and um, some vegan cream cheese because I'm doing the hypo meal plan. So I'm doing non-dairy and no gluten. Some of the other staples that I'll need for the meal plan, but I already had are things like almonds and cashews, like just like mixed nuts. I have a bunch of eggs and egg whites. Oh, like nut butters. So like some of those like things that I always have in the house, I already had them so I didn't have to buy them, which was really nice. And it's winter, so it's getting dark at like four o'clock. So if the lighting totally changes during this, sorry if it gets a little funky for a minute, um, cause it's probably gonna get dark. One of the questions I get about my meal plans a lot is like, 
can you eat the same thing every day? Like, how do you make it easier prep? Because if you guys have seen the plan, each day is different. And that's because a lot of people really want that variety and like want to switch things up. I totally could eat the same thing every day. So if you look in your guide, you'll see that hand in there. And that's really how I think about all of my meals, right? It's your portions of fat, your portions of protein, your veggies, your carbs. So when I look at each day, I look and just see like, okay, there's protein, there's carbs, there's veggies. Like I can add all the veggies I want. And I really think about my meals that way and it makes it super easy especially to meal prep. So I'm not having to be like, okay, this meal is asparagus and this meal is broccoli and this one is chicken and that's bison. It just, I just think about it like what macro it is basically. Also, when it comes to my prepping, I am not the person who puts every little portion of everything in like containers and has it ready to go. I really like to make my staples so that I can mix and match and just decide what I want in the moment. And I usually stick to lunch and sometimes breakfast. And then I just make sure I have what I need for dinner because I really enjoy making dinner. But if I I don't have easy snacks if I don't have my lunches ready to go that's where I usually will end up grabbing something on the go and it makes it hard to make the healthier choices so if it's right there and ready then I know I'm good and that's really where you're gonna see the best results if you are trying to lose weight or you are trying to build muscle or see that definition and tone your nutrition is so important so having those meals readily available is the key I'm gonna put that hair up for meal prep seriousness So I have my air fryer out and preheated. I have the oven going and then I just pulled out some pans with foil. I'm gonna put all my veggies on. But like I said, I just like to stick to the foundations. I know I'm gonna need a ton of veggies. I know I'm gonna need my proteins. I have my brown rice all ready to go. So I'm just gonna keep it simple and go with that and I'll season them a few different ways so that I have those options. And as you guys can see, like I'll put I'll put the meal plan here, a sample, so you can kind of see what it looks like to understand what I mean by being able to just like swap if you're like, okay, it's a protein in this. The other things that I will be using throughout all of this though are obviously my LSF plant protein, my Miss Congeniality, Wing Woman, Slumber Party. All of those are gonna be incorporated into my day and into my routine, just like usual. I want to be You always have to chop the ends off of your asparagus, otherwise it'll be really fibrous and chewy. Sorry, I knocked you. So usually just like about two inches is good. I personally don't ever really put seasoning on my vegetables when I'm baking them because I know I'm gonna put some type of dressing or sauce or something on them because I'm just like a saucy person. But otherwise I'd recommend doing like a salt-free seasoning, like a 21 blend herbs or pepper or something like that or just like a little bit of salt. You can obviously use salt, our bodies need some sodium, just don't like overdo it. During the two day detox, it's like salads and soup. So my soup is easy. I'm gonna throw that all in the Instapot the day like I'm making it. Salads, I'm gonna chop and clean my romaine. So I already have like lettuce ready to go and I'm gonna use those veggies in my salads. I'll make up my dressing. So one trick that I have for making your chicken just taste better when you're baking it and having it stay really like moist and juicy is usually adding Greek yogurt to it. But since for January, I'm doing the hypo meal plan and I'm not doing dairy, I'm gonna actually use, I'll show you guys, it's like, um, but I'm gonna use this like mayo made with avocado oil. It's really clean and I'm just gonna use a little bit, like just to barely coat the chicken so that it can lock in some moisture and flavor, but not like big globs of mayo. And I know it sounds weird, but I promise you it'll be really good. This is one of the grosser things <laughs> I've done in a while. Like I usually don't like to show you guys chicken because I just feel like it's like nasty to look at, but it does really work. I also use like bone broth or chicken broth, but I'll do that if I'm doing it in like the 
baking pan so that it can actually sit in the broth. And I just season the ish out of this, like so much, cause it's no salt seasoning. So just get all that yummy flavor. started cutting up the sweet potato I realized it was way bigger than I even thought it was so I'll probably do this more in quarters for my portions and Ryan will have some too but here's the thing with the meal plan like again it's meant to be a foundation to help you move from crazy diet culture into like learning how to fuel your body and being more intuitive with your eating so if you want more sweet potato just eat more sweet potato if you're still feeling hungry add more veggies like especially your green veggies like load up your plate with all of those if you need a little extra of something then eat it like you need to start to learn your body and that's part of this whole process sweet potatoes can go in the oven to bake you can put them in the air fryer but it's gonna take a little bit longer I'm just actually gonna put them in the microwave um, I'm gonna poke them with forks just to help them cook a little bit better and then I'll do it in the microwave if you're an anti microwave person I'm sorry <laughs> don't come at me I use my microwave sparingly but sometimes you just need it so um, I'm gonna get those going so they're already cooked and then all I have to do is rewarm them when I want to use them to eat use them when I want to eat My veggies are done, so I'm just gonna load the broccoli and the asparagus in here. And especially with hypo, the key with your cruciferous vegetables, like a broccoli, is to make sure you cook it really, really well. So mine got a little crispy, but actually I'm glad because then I know it's super cooked, it's really soft. And then asparagus is really good for natural detox and to help pull excess water out of the body. So post-holiday bloat, be gone. Well, especially with the two-day detox meal plan, but adding more asparagus as a staple for me is always key. And the chicken just finished as well. Ooh, it looks like perfectly browned. So I'm gonna let that cool a little bit and then I'll put it in some glassware to put in the fridge too. And just as a side note, you guys, I'm gonna be doing a full what I eat in a day video for you as well, um, a fresh one and like everything I'm eating on this meal plan to show you how I switch up the hot body meal plan, like in action a little bit more. Cause it's one thing to like say it, but for you to see like, hey, here's what the plan says, here's what I'm actually eating. I think should be really helpful too. So if you want that video, make sure you comment and let me know any questions you guys have specifically so I don't miss it. Right now I'm gonna do ground turkey. So, so far I'm about 40 minutes in, which is not bad. I'm gonna finish in under an hour and have a ton done. Um, I've packed up some just little peppers and some celery. And I'm gonna show you guys where I put these because these are like snacks for me to make sure I see them because if it's within reach and I see it, I'll go for the healthy thing. So they're gonna go right here at eye level. I have my apples there as well. It's a really messy way to show you guys, hold on. My lettuce for my salads, peppers, some celery cut up, and apples. All the good snacks, plus my nut butters right there, ready to go, and some little baby tomatoes up there. I have the ground turkey over here. Again, I feel like me up close is like gross to like show on camera, so it's gonna be over there. But I made up some of my taco seasoning. If you guys have my Guiltless Nutrition Lifestyle Recipe book, the seasoning recipe is in there for the taco seasoning. You can use whatever taco seasoning you want. The key for me is just finding one that's really low in sodium. So ideally one that says low sodium would be great, but otherwise mix up your favorite spices. I just always do it with ground turkey with that kind of seasoning because I can throw it in bowls, make taco salads, taco bowls. Like I love that spicy flavor. So it just makes it really versatile. And then my chicken is more standard. So I have like a lot of options to mix up during the week. So tomorrow I start the two day detox and then I have the hop and a meal plan. And I looked at the first day of the hop and a meal plan for me and it's a smoothie for breakfast. So I'm not gonna prep any egg muffins today because I don't want them sitting in the fridge for like four days. And I have my sweet potato and some smoothie stuff for for the detox meal plan. So I'll probably prep those later in the week, but I have everything I need for my smoothies in the fridge, in the freezer, ready to go. So that's just really easy for me. Sometimes I'll put those together in mason jars to like have all of the ingredients in one spot if I'm running out the door, but I'm gonna be home. So I'm just gonna make them here. This is everything I prepped. I mean, I didn't prep this, but I got it. Some of my main staple ingredients for my lunches and snacks. And then like I said, I have all this stuff for smoothies 
in the freezer ready to go for my breakfast. Hopefully you guys liked seeing that little grocery haul and easy meal prep. So on Thursday, I'm gonna be posting my what I eat in a day, going through my meal plan, showing you guys literally how I make all of my swaps, exactly what I'm putting into my body and how it matches up with the plan so you can see it in action. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on Thursday.